Alright, so I'm working on putting together a fuel system for the truck here. It's got a 5.3 LS in, uh, engine in it. So what you'll need is a pump, uh, a filter, preferably two filters, but only one of them's come in right now. Um, this is a Dash 6 line or AN6. And then I have a bunch of AN8 that I've already ran up to the engine it'll have a AN8 for the supply line an AN6 for the return on the fuel cell when you get it the with the two blue plugs they're both AN10 fittings and then the both of the returns are AN10 so I'm gonna run a, I already made up this hose the short 10 is gonna run up like this and then the, the pump will go here and it has a the way that the pump came it has a 10 in and an 8 out so then I made this short piece of 8 I've got to make some more so I'll show you how to put these together but uh, it'll come out of the pump as an 8 go into the filter as an 8 and then it goes up which is uh, I think a half inch um, and that'll go up to the engine like that and then the return line will come back as this 6 so you have to get this adapter right here it's a 10 to a 6 adapter that'll go Get this tape off it'll go here we don't need to run a you know like you could run a 10 all the way back I guess but it doesn't need that much so it'll be a 6 coming back into that all right so doing these fittings is really easy um, I don't have to cut this hose because I only know where the one end is I'll have to cut this this other end at some point once I get those other fittings but if you need to cut it wrap it with a piece of tape I use masking tape because uh, it doesn't leave glue on here but you could use duct tape or electrical tape but uh, tape it up take a cut off wheel and cut and just cut straight through it it, it goes through pretty easy but some people you can do it with a hacksaw if you do you want to put two blades in and have them face in two different directions so that it won't, you know, pull the stuff too bad. There's met a lot of metal wire in there, so you have to have something that'll cut metal. But either way, uh, so after you get it cut, tape off of here, hopefully. fitting comes apart here like that and there's a shoulder like a ridge up inside there's threads for maybe the first uh, three-eighths of an inch those are the threads that are going to go on to here so just below those threads there's a couple ridges and then there's a shoulder down there at the bottom so you're going to take this hose, kind of clean this up as best as you can. Start it in there and then just keep twisting and pushing it down until you get it right there where you can you can feel that it has hit the I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's right at the bottom of those threads right there. So it's pushed in all the way tight. What's going to happen is when you put this in, this tapered piece is going to go up inside of the hose, you know, most of the way. I don't know what happened to the camera there, but this will go inside of the hose and it's going to spread the hose open as you thread this in. On the inside of this piece that we just put over the hose, there's bridges and barbs in there that are going to grab a hold of it so that it can't come apart so you want to make sure it's all the way down some people I think they do make a, a 
a lube to put on these. I put a little teeny bit of water or spit or something on there. Just a teeny tiny little bit. It doesn't take much. Hold this so that the hose is pushed in nice and tight. And start turning this down. And it'll start itself into the rubber hose. And it'll go pretty easy for a little while. You just want to kind of hold that. Kind of keep an eye. Sometimes I'll even take a piece of tape. Put it right underneath of the fitting. On the hose. Just like that. And that way as you're threading that thing down if it does if it does push the hose out which would give you a bad connection there would be a gap there um, normally they work pretty well though so get that down as far as you can by hand and then they make a ton of tools for doing the rest of this. none of which are necessary Got this old destroyed vise here. Put it in there, tighten it down. Not real tight, just enough to hold it. And you use an adjustable wrench. Put it right on here. Kind of keep your fingers to where you know that that hose isn't pushing out of there. And just keep turning it on down. I like to get them all the way. Like, best as possible, anyways. right there and our hose is still all the way in to the fitting take that off of there so now it's nice and tight can't pull it out of there so then they have an angle on the inside there's an angle here that corresponds with the angle on the other piece there it's called a uh, AN fitting means Army Navy. It's a, like a military fitting so that all the military vehicles all have the same. That's why they were invented. But now most people use you know use them on race cars, stuff like that. But so that's it. Put it together like that and you got a professional line. fuel filter up with that stuff I guess. something like that I gotta make a mount for this pump it'll sit uh, about right there 
And I might open this up a little more so this will go down just a little farther. Uh, get the filter down a little more. That's pretty close to the way it'll be right there. Push this. I'll probably hammer this piece of hose down in there, and then this return hose will go through it. Because here we have a metal fitting inside of the wood, um, but I don't really want. I don't think the wood would rub through the hose. But just in case, we'll put this rubber in there, and then that'll go down through there. All right, so that's all finished up. Well, I need some a mount and to be wired. I got a piece of hose here going through the floor. And then it runs up the inside the frame rail. There it is. The bigger line goes to the top and the smaller line will go to the bottom once I get those, those two fittings.